Here. Look at the size. Look at the size of the post and how large the post is. And so the palatal root is is pretty pretty wide. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of these interproximal brushes. See the interproximal brush? And I'm just gonna scrape the the inside of the canals with it. They're pretty all of them are pretty enlarged already. So it's like one of those bottle, baby bottle cleaners. So you can see all kinds of stuff is coming out now. Just open it a little bit. You know, just push it in. I found a mist MB2 as well. So I'm just scraping and, and cleaning the canal walls with this. Okay, very good, very good walls. And then I'm gonna go back in with my high tool and dig it again and look all kinds of stuff is coming out now. All the things that were stuck to the walls of the canals are all coming out now. Washing everything out with it. Okay, that's good. So, so let me have the other side now, please. Right, so we'll just so now we have FIFO in there and I'm gonna do also my ultrasonic. Activation. I've already done the sonic, so this is also sonic. Perfect. There you go, thank you. So we're gonna Get it, get it again, right? And again, all kinds of stuff will come out. We got all of that. Solution to pollution is dilution. Go in there, go in there, go in there. Yeah, that was a big piece that came out. fighting biofilm that attach themselves to the canal walls. So sonic activation, ultrasonic activation, brushing, all of that will remove the biofilm from from the canal walls and give us a better success rate overall. So everything hand, hand in hand, fundamentals of endodontics. So 
There's so much junk that's coming out of it. Okay. Now that palatal, palatal canal is, is pretty, pretty contaminated. As I said, there was also a mist and too. All of that has contributed to the failure of the root canal here. Okay, we already, George, 36 cc's of hypo. That's the third one, so that's good. Thank you. Next treatment of the day was tooth number three. As you can see, there's a stainless steel crown on the tooth, huge post, and you can see peripheral reed lucency associated with the palatal root. And I'm not sure, it looks like two, two, um, uh, got a percha cones in there I, I i don't know anyways so today went ahead and started and completed the root canal in one appointment went through the stainless steel crown removed the post and here it is remove the gutter percha and take a look here you see this white and periodontal ligament in this area here well that was a strip perf as you can see the mb canal was over prepped this is the post-op, so as you can see, I repaired the uh, perforation with MTA here. And of course, there was a missed MB2.